Your Honor, I know this looks bad, but you're forgetting something. How dare you tell me I'm forgetting something? I'm the judge here. Hey guys, what's up? DLive here, and I am here with some more Judge Sim. Today, we will be finishing up this game, however many weeks there are. I thought there was 20 weeks, but apparently there's more weeks that we have to play. Maybe it depends on how you play the game. I have no idea. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, we have our family here and our kitty. They're still alive, so that's great. I guess we shall see what we're going to end up doing here. Week 21, case one. So we just convicted the interior prime minister. He was also the leader of the mafia, which is kind of crazy. All right, let's see the case file. Case subject, filing a lawsuit against the current ruling party, the BD party, requesting its closure. Respondent Deputy Chairman Edward Hill attends the hearing as a representative of the BD party. Claimant Ryan Jackson attends the hearing as a representative of the opposition parties. Okay, so there's multiple parties. They're closing the BD party, which I'm pretty sure caused all the corruption, right? All right, former Interior Minister Martin Redrow, a member of the BD party, which we convicted him, made allegations of corruption against BD party deputies in his statements during the trial. As a result of these allegations, the opposition parties unanimously requested a parliamentary investigation proposal. The research proposal was rejected by the votes of the ruling party and the opposition parties filed a lawsuit by collecting 100,000 signatures. So the, the BD party was like, no investigation. Totally doesn't look bad. <laughs> doesn't look awful at all. All right, so Edward Hill is our um, representative of the BD party. We, we know he's gonna be spewing, spewing things that are untrue. I know I'm supposed to be impartial of a judge, but no. As the BD party, we do not accept any of the accusations. There may be people within the party who are involved in crime, but in accordance with the principle of individuality of crime, this situation concerns only them. Such accusations are made to harm our party, party and seize power. It is a cheap conspiracy. Our party will be cleared of these vile slanders and continue on its way stronger. Such actions are outdated and unacceptable. The way to change the government is through the ballot box. But you guys created so much corruption. <laughs> we don't trust you. Or at least I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm already got my mind made up. I need to be impartial. As opposition parties, our stance is always clear. We will continue our fight against corruption and injustice until the end. The BD party shows how cowardly and dirty they actually are by rejecting the parliamentary research proposals we submitted and then deciding to hold early elections. We guess that these events are just the tip of the iceberg. The party should be closed to ease public conscience. Interesting. Okay, so do we have evidence? Or do we... Oh, we just straight up make a decision. Okay. Mr. Hill, in your testimony, you, you have emphasized the principle of individual criminal responsibility. However, an internal interior minister says that he is leading the mafia with support from within the party. Don't you think that this is an abnormal situation? Your Honor, I know this looks bad, but you're forgetting something. How dare you tell me I'm forgetting something? I'm the judge here. Okay? This man is a criminal. I mean, since when do we trust the words of notorious criminals in a country to start shutting down parties? I mean, we got a little bit of... Um... A little bit of a point but i don't think he made a deal he just said Poof, unless it's vengeance but like why would he do that in the past another member of parliament from your party was tried for corruption what do you have to say about this subject sir there are many people in our party we cannot know the true characters of these people so there may be some bad apples in every basket but that doesn't mean the basket should be thrown away okay Mr. Jackson, do you have any concrete evidence for your corruption allegation? Your Honor, 28 million, no, million in cash, gold, and jewelry were found in the House of Interior Minister elected by the BD Party. Whatever, what other evidence do we need? I also want to say that this minister was having police officers to assassinate. He had intelligence agents do his mafia work. How could he do these things alone without the support of the party? Couldn't he have planned these all by himself? Your Honor, the Cecilia Cartel's bombing of Parliament shows that he is not alone. He already admitted it himself. Moreover, if they had planned it on their own, they would have not rejected our parliamentary research motion. This means they have something to fear. 
True. What are your last words before the case ends, Mr. Jackson? Your Honor, these are historic days here today. You are trying to find answers, and we intend to ask more questions. I see. See, this guy is not like, you told me I'm forgetting something. Like, you don't tell me I'm forgetting something, okay? I mean, I did. I did forget a ton of things in this game, and I got so many people are upset. But if the, if the rules aren't like in a pad or a paper nearby telling me, oh, we have to do this different, we have to do this different, I'm gonna completely forget them. Papers, Please was pretty good about when something changed. It made it so you couldn't possibly mess it up. It throws it in your face. And I feel like this game sometimes, like the next case doesn't always act, even sometimes multiple cases before you actually run into the rules. So it kind of, it makes it more difficult. You have to keep it in mind. And I'm trying to record and, and, and have fun playing the game. And I completely forget my short term memory is pretty bad, but we'll see what kind of ending we get from being so bad at the game. Maybe we'll get the worst ending possible because there's multiple endings and I don't know. I think, I don't know what, how many there are and if there's a good and a bad, but I'm assuming there's a good and a bad. I think there's three endings from what I saw. Could be more because I thought there was only 20 weeks in this game. I guess we decide. Let's see what we got. The closure of the BD party, the continuation of the political existence of the BD party. So it's, I'm going to say, man, I do, I do have to say the defendant saying that like, it's kind of like, it, it feels like it's censoring them completely closing the party but this party has had a lot of corruption and it's the ruling party on top of it and it's it seems to be riddled with corruption so i think and also him telling me that i forgot something <laughs> he could have thought that out and then maybe i'd be a little bit more sympathetic to his uh, argument but yeah, we're going to close the BD party because of how much corruption there is. It's 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 a plague on this country. We need to get rid of it. All right, boom. The decision considered. Oh, wait, what? Oh, civil war has begun. Oh, God, did I cause that? Oh, my God. <gasps> what did I do? Um, anarchists take over the Banana Republic. That was me. I did that. A prosecution has been launched against a group of state employees, <gasps> including you. Wait, I was good. Oh, no. What's going to happen to me? Did I get murdered? You're actually... <gasps> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, that's what i get for forgetting all that stuff my comeuppance has happened and also the ending was only one more week oh uh, that is so funny so i wonder if not closing the party would make any difference but i don't think it will <laughs> Okay, well, there's one of the endings. There's two other endings that I have not gotten yet. So um, I have to look them up because there's probably very specific things you have to do. I managed to get the worst ending possible, which is great. Um, if you guys would like to see the other two endings, I don't know if there's another bad one. Maybe there's one where I come into power or something. Um, that'd be great. Uh, I can't believe... I think it's, it is probably... Um, there's probably a certain amount of cases you can get wrong, um, and a certain amount of cases, uh, to get right, to get, I guess, the better ending. Um, but yeah, I'm dead. I guess my family inherits everything. They're already taking enough of my money anyway. <laughs> so you get punished for not following. I got to write down the rules when I replay this to get the, uh, get a good ending. That's great. That's fantastic. Thank you for playing. I really like the game. I do think the English translation needs a little, little looking at. I think they need to have someone look on that because I feel like they just use Google Translate because there was some times where it didn't make sense. Um, but they did a great job. The core game is great. Um, the two things I would complain about, and 
it was like the translations into English. Obviously, they're a small studio. They might not have that ability. So I get it. Um, and also, it would be nice if there was like a pad or something um, letting, kind of reminding you, because I'm so dumb, I'm so into the game that I completely forgot the new rules. And I got the bad ending, which I'm okay with, to be honest. I got punished for my mistakes. And yeah, if you guys would like to see the other two endings, let me know and I will go get them and I will show you guys the difference and I'll react to them. Uh, but this is my canon ending. I get murdered. I'm a bad judge. I mean, there's probably 20 to 30 instances of me being a really bad judge during the game. <laughs> so I deserve death. I can't believe it. I helped close the bad party. Why am I getting investigated? I should be just fired because I was so bad. Uh, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.